periodically live on Twitch. Sorry, story first. Look, there's a big crowd around the clinic. Do you think they felt the effects of the battle just now? Let's go ask around. Natasha, Oleg, hope you didn't have to wait too long. Oh, it's them. You kids move fast. By the look on your faces, I assume you come bearing good news. Mm-hmm. You bet. You might not believe this, but we summoned up all our strength, and then... Uh, maybe he should do the talking. I'm no good at serious stuff. I'll probably say something I'll regret. We were there at the fight. We witnessed everything. Uh, sacrificed herself, huh? Sure, yeah, that's the whole story. Akolia, in order to save Bellabog, she... <sighs> I see. So the massive tremors we felt earlier were a result of the battle, right? Yep. Thank you. I can't even imagine what you've been through up there. I'm just glad everything turned out all right. Oh, what about Zila? Don't worry, she's all right. It took a big toll on Branya, so Zila took her over to the guards. Oh, good. I'm so glad you're all okay. Now that Kokolia's no more, I guess our Silvermane girl is about to become the next Supreme Guardian? She sees things through, and doesn't go back on her word. The Underworld will thrive again under her watch. Mm-hmm. Oh, we brought you a message from Branya. <clears throat> the blockade will soon be lifted. The people of the Underworld will breathe freely. Breathe freely. <laughs> That's been our wish all along. March, Don Hung, and you. Can I ask for your help again? I want to get this news out to everyone. It'll lift their spirits and bring them hope. All right. Thank you. Choose whoever you like. Wildfire will take care of the rest. We've gotten to know a lot of Underworlders. Who do you think we should start with? Yep. Hmm. Roger that. You can leave the rest to us. If everything goes smoothly, <laughs> this should be Wildfire's final mission. Those kids better not have taken advantage of the chaos to go on an expedition. Hook does always talk about wanting to go on a Rivet Town adventure. Ugh, this could be bad. 48? 49? Ready or not, here I come! Julian? Quick, let's go see! Found you! You ran all the way out here just to play hide and seek? It's too dangerous! Uh, Miss March, uh, didn't you go back to the surface? <laughs> Since when did I become Miss March? And where's Hook and the others? Come on, call them over. Uh, uh, we just started playing. Uh, can't we finish this round first? All right. <laughs> Seasoned pros, I see. Hey, it wasn't like I wanted to play. The kids forced us to. Uh, actually, I sort of want to go play on the swings for a while. I'll leave the seeking to you guys. All right. Aha! Gotcha! Huh? Grown-ups? 
Where's Julian? <sighs> so he is a scaredy cat. I know he'd get someone else to talk to me. You should be happy it's us and not Natasha. If she had found you, you'd be in big trouble already. Hmm. Guess so. Anyway, I'm gonna go find Julian. Integrity, huh? You brought the other kids out here to Rivet Town, didn't you? I... I did not! The moles hold a vote on all our expedition destinations. Hmm. Fine, I will. But it better be exciting. All right. Okay, okay. That's enough of that. Let's go and find Julian. Hide and seek update. Astral Express Crew 2, the Mole Zero. Hm. Celebrate while you can. Hide and seek is best at five, you know. Anyway, enough about hide and seek. You came all this way to tell the mole something, so spit it out. <laughs> do you want to do the honors? Huh? Oh. oh. Uh huh. What's wrong? Why aren't you saying anything? Hook. Julian. Uh. <laughs> hey! Oh, your tears, Julian! You're second in command. No crying in front of grown-ups! <laughs> you three, listen up. Starting from today, you are the mole's number one rivals! Rivals? Why the heck are we rivals now? What are you talking about? Hook and Julian always wanted to defeat the villains on the surface and take back our homeland. But it sounds like you grown-ups just stole their thunder, so... <gasps> you think we're gonna accept defeat just like that? One day, the moles will be the heroes of the underworld and the overworld. Then everyone will sit and... Uh... Sit and dumb. Sit up and take notice, right? Uh, yeah, sit up and take notice. <laughs> uh, I would have figured it out myself. I didn't need you to remind me. <laughs> so that's why you were so silent. Hmm, if you want to be as awesome as us, you better start training every day. Man, she's humble. Attitude slash sarcasm. And start listening to Natasha. Training every day? Listening to the old witch? Will that really make us as awesome as you guys? <laughs> In that case, deal! <laughs> Julian, Alina, let's run back to the town. Training starts today. <laughs> Yes, boss. Understood. Uh, Alina, I can uh, give you a piggyback if you can't make it.
All right. Sure. Oh, Mr. Yang put it nicely, but the reality is this. We sealed the Stellaron, but that's not going to solve the problems on this planet. There I was getting excited to tell everyone the good news. That's the cruelty of a Stellaron. Still, compared with some of the other planets we visited, at least this one has hope. So, should we tell everyone the deal? We should tell Branya when the time's right. Let's not dampen the spirit just yet. Oh, is everyone all right? <sighs> Thanks for your help. Sometimes face-to-face -face communication is more meaningful, don't you think? Now we just have to wait for the official news. I hope Branya doesn't keep us too long. Huh. Do you think Sparog and Clara felt the effects of our battle with the Guardian? I think they'll be fine. Plus, Sparog's devotion to Clara is even greater than his hostility to Wildfire. <laughs> if you're worried, you could look for them over at the robot settlement. Outsiders. Friends of Clara. How did you know that was Perkins? The, the, the. Thank you for rescuing Clara. Seems like Perkins picked up a stammer. Its language module must have malfunctioned. Can you take us to Clara? Outsiders are f friends of Clara. Follow me. Visitors, Clara. Oh, it's the variables. There was a huge shaking just now coming up through the ground. Mr. Sparg said it must have been recalculating. Conclusion Engine of Creation 97.66% probability. The engine of creation was an immense construction machine created by the architects. It was not built to fight. Well, whatever. We won. Thanks to that giant robot, we were finally able to take care of the Stellaron. And Branya made a promise. The underworld and the overworld will soon be reunited. Which means that you, Sparog, um, you won't have to worry about preserving the underworld for the time being. March! Everyone, thank you so much. I wasn't sure you guys would be able to do it, but... But now... Mr. Sparrow, what do you say? You guys said you were travelers from other worlds, right? I want to be just like you. One day, I'm gonna go traveling to faraway places and make new friends. Calculation result. Update. Mission number 0001. Preserve the underworld. Complete.
That's our Branya. Quick as a flash. <laughs> she certainly moves a lot faster than some people I know. If you haven't got anything nice to say right now, zip it. You made it. <laughs> I thought you were about to miss out on a moment of history. No way. After all our hard work, how could we miss out on the final celebration, right? Uh, I don't know how much of a celebration we'll be having. <laughs> but I know Hook and Clara will be pleased to sit with you. For Oleg and I, not to mention the other adults, reopening the passageway means rediscovering old ways of living. Uh, return to normality. <laughs> Survival is no longer the top of the agenda. But for the children who were born into this era, who grew up in this isolation, this will be a new life altogether. Once you've tasted freedom, it's difficult to accept a life of separation and isolation. Those of us whose childhoods were marred by tragedy, we must strive to do better for the next generation. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Here I am talking your ear off again. <sighs> this is a day to remember. We should welcome it with smiles. If you have time, talk to the folks here. Every one of them will tell you about their excitement. And when you're ready, let's go home. Finally. Finally, I can get back to supervising the cable cars. I thought I'd spend the rest of my life in those mines. Ah, it's you, the liberators of the underworld. You're the first passengers we've had since being sealed off. <laughs> It'll be my honor to get you to the surface in one piece. Relax, relax. In all my 20 years on the job, there were only ever... Uh, anyway, none of them were serious. <clears throat> so, ready to climb aboard? No problem. This car won't be leaving without you. So, ready to climb... Brothers, sisters, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, gather round. The cable car passenger service is about to restart. Whoa! <laughs> Look at the big blue ceiling. <laughs> That's not a ceiling, Hook. That's the sky. <laughs> so this is the overworld? The air here smells... different. <laughs> Less rust and geomero particles floating around. Take a deep breath, children. This is what freedom tastes like. I never thought I'd live to see the administrative district again. All those years. We've been through a lot, Natasha. <sighs> You're right, Oleg. Funny, the moment I boarded the cable car, my mind was filled with everything I wanted to do on the surface. But now, I just want to sit down, zone out, and watch the people coming and going. And let the day just pass me by. <laughs> Enjoy the peace and quiet, Natasha. We earned it. <laughs> 